The, we saw the first set happen previously. Jen taking it with a swift Three, victory. Two, now we're going to go back into this. One, now, until they were to win go. this, resets the bracket. It turns into a best two of three sets. That's right. Effectively, because now Tilde needs that revenge. He's got the uh, momentum already off from being in the hot seat. Jen's been just kind of chilling, waiting for his match to come up. So mm -hmm. doesn't have that quite advantage. But he does have a set to play with. So That's right. You know, I mean, and you know Jen was likely watching, you know, the, the shenanigans going on in the stream here, you know, in preparation for this match. But, I mean, these are two players who have played each other countless amounts of times. Very comfortable with each other's play styles. It's just a matter of who can execute and adapt better on that day for, for now. We saw Jen take the set earlier in Winners Finals, but I mean, it was by no means a wash. And Tilde, I mean, he's got an extra set that he's got to win, but certainly a contender in this Grand Finals here at Zeno. Yeah, of course. I mean, like, like I said, he's already off to a great start with this uh, stock route. The gate gets it point blank explosive flame. Could have potentially converted that into an up air if the percents were just a little bit lower. Maybe the range was a little bit lower, but it just it was just unfortunate position for Jim. But that's okay. It allowed him to land back down the stage and get a little bit of stage control in the process. That's right, and we see that stage control being executed now. Ooh, but now Jen kind of shifting into the corner. Tilde giving him a little room to come back, perhaps. Ooh, and I think. He, he like he, didn't die off the top. He kind of moved to the side there. Maybe he thought he was dead. I don't, I don't know. It's a little hard to see the the and, little tiny box. And what's funny is that explosive flame wasn't even meant to like be put there to kill. It was oh, yeah. it was meant to make Tilde react with the defensive reaction. That's right. I mean, and Jen's just like, oh, bet Sick. we take those. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, we almost take that early stock with that down air. Not gonna happen though. Till they applying the pressure, but ending it with that unsafe down tilt. That's gonna be a quick grab for Jen. Bro. And I mean. He's just ready on these air dodge punishes. Jen is a wall. He is not phased. You saw all the shield pressures just hoping for Jen to like react in some fashion that up B gonna get caught by another explosive flame. Uh, definitely a miss input there on that counter. Jen, you know, pretty comfortable in this corner. I mean, Tilde, the pressure coming out from him is gonna be huge. But Jen holding on to his first stock for quite a while here, sitting at 148. Bro, any Ooh. other player, any other player would have jumped out of that shield, but he just held firm, waited for Tilde to go for something that he could get a slight, a small sort of punish on, and then take that punish and turn it into a stock. Now all of a sudden, three to one. Jen's looking right. pretty clean right now, and is probably on his way to win the entire Zeno, unless Tilde can pull something out of his pocket yeah, right now. Yeah, I mean, he's really gotta, gotta, gotta think of something here. I mean, one of the key factors for Jen here has been. Calling out those air dodges with things like back air and, and, and other other moves that'll kill for Palutena. We see, you know, him continuing to get into that percent where we can be looking at another kill off an air dodge punish. And still, you know, showing at 165, but as I say that, of course, we be brought back to zero as Tilde grabs the fair. Literally, at this point, Jen's just gonna be looking for uh, jabs, gonna be looking for nares, back airs as like a safe approach option. Any of these aerials will put Tilde into a prime position to be knocked off stage, where Jen is just having a ball. Anytime Jen gets Tilde off stage, it is in his court. But Tilde, starting the exact same thing for him, except vertical, right? Yeah. Just putting Jen upwards. Yeah, I mean, if, Je if Tilde can get that Palutena above him, he does have a uh, very, very okay. good shot attacking on a lot of percent. That double jump air dodge coming in from Tilde again. That was actually what lost in the last set. Tilde, or Jen not punishing it this time. Tilde pulling up all the stops. You know, I mean, Jen, he's up two stops to one. He didn't push a button there for He did a long not time. push a button. Until but the roll came out. Yeah, Tilde, I mean, executing the punish <laughs> on that roll. There's no way. <laughs> Dude, jab on the edge, bro. That's gonna be able to get it. Funny. Getting that rapid jab, gonna get that stock. Yeah, I, I mean, it was just like you said, you know, Jen going for those jabs. Mm. It's a, it's a quick option. It's relatively safe, mm -hmm. depending on how you do it. But like, it catches that, like, yeah, he's trying I mean, to move there with a potential roll. He held it for quite a long time because he knew it was gonna potentially kill, and it just did just that. Yeah. You know, Jen's feeling himself when he's calling you out with up smash. Mm -hmm. If Jen lands up smash against you, he is in your head you and he have is been ready red. to go. You like have been he, successfully red. Like he is actually, or he's either that or he feels like he's he's invincible. Mm -hmm. I mean, when Jen feels like he's invincible, he's a hard player to take down. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the confidence that you need to execute on these air dodge punishes, on these, you know, catching his drift, catching anything that he tries off stage, you gotta have a lot of confidence to execute with Palutena and Jen showing that in full form here. We got Tilde switching to PS2. Bit of an interesting choice. I mean, 
you know, looking very comfortable in town and city. We always see him on that stage. Interesting that we're not looking at a stage that is typically, you know, known for crazy Falco combos, but a lot of crazy stuff can happen on PS2, so we're bringing it back to the to Tri-State's favorite stage. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not just Tri-State's. I feel like Smash Ultimate Community loves for sure. stage. For sure. For sure. I mean, it's quite the stage, if I do say so myself. Got looking at more of an even game, but till or till they getting off the ledge with that down air. Bit of a new option that we haven't seen for him. You know, if you can't get back right off the ledge, might as well rise trying to hit some sort of uh, his back air setup with that down air and catching it in that moment. Definitely gonna see some adjustments from Jen based on whatever till they bring to the table. You know, I'm not used to seeing him go for like so many run up jabs. I haven't seen that happen mm -hmm. so much from Palutena just in general, but Jen's been employing it a lot lately. I mean, you know, catching, you know, catches a lot of moving, catches dash in, catches something like that spot dodge, and even Jumps. if it hits the shield, you know, it's not the most detrimental thing that could happen to Palutena. These The rapid jabs in this game give you a lot of leniency, I feel, when it comes to when you hit them on someone's block. We have. Tilde though, kind of kind of showing us what Jen was doing in that first game, really turning it up at the ledge. But now again, giving him a lot more space than you would really expect from Tilde, kind of letting Jen come back to the stage. I mean, ooh. He, I think he felt suffocated that last game whenever Jen was on top of him. And having a big stage like ta uh, Pokemon Stadium, being able to run back and forth all he wants, I feel like he feels way more comfortable. And it's definitely showing, right? The results are in the pudding. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we, we're looking at the complete opposite of that first game here with Tilde sitting at three stocks to Jen's one. I mean, a little unfortunate SD on that on that explosive flame before, but it's Tilde, you know, still, you can see that we're, we got a til different Tilde in the building compared to that game one. He's playing a lot more defensively, you know, not trying to get into these scrambles with Palutena because when the Nair comes out, when the, when the, the back, or not the back, oh, I guess the back air, but the dash stack, other stuff like that. Paul Tane has got tools to win these scrambles. So they keep it a little bit more of a patient, long range game. Bro, turning into a scramble egg out here, bro. He's at 68%. All that damage just racking up like crazy off the right. And you know, it's that's just the classic Falco combos. That's not, just, that's not till they exclusive. You, know, you oh, get yeah, that hit. For sure. You're going you're going somewhere. You're gonna be taking up a lot of numbers. Look at these empty hops waiting for Jen. Again, he's not gonna push a button until he knows. He yep. knows that's like one of Jen's greatest strengths is that he is a wall. Yep, he is rock solid in that defense, not gonna be phased by any of these empty hops and getting a huge punish on that landing up air in the form of an air combo, giving him 51% to work with here. Pressuring Tilde now, looking like a bit of a reversal on how the matchup's supposed to go, but, Ooh, you know. Caught the legs. He did, you know, I mean, and Jen, you know, rising aerials in this game, not necessarily advised to put them on someone's shield. Jen trying to drift back in that instance to make it a little more safe, but Tilde gonna be quick with that punish on that up smash. Right, just throughout yep. the fair, was expecting a jump of some kind or just a, not, not a, if, if, if he was going to go for a block, he thought that Tilde was going to stand in place and not move forward. Because yeah. Tilde was able to close the gap so fast there That's at the right. end, that was the, like, the, the game deciding moment. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we see people time and time again get caught in those types of situations. I mean, run up shield, you know, there's only a certain, there's a certain amount of time you need to take before you can get that shield out. But Tilde timing it perfectly bring us to a game three. Now, we just talked about suffocation in the last game and how, like, he, like Tilde felt free. That's now right. you're on Smash. We are this on... is the tiniest thing. You see how close they were to each other's faces? Yeah. The start, bro. No, like, I mean, I think Jen is fully aware that he is getting the best of these situations where they're up close and personal. Also has the ability to go for a teleport cancel on that platform. Granted, he had that on PS2 as well, but here in the middle of the stage. Yeah, it's much more, much more central, much more in your face. Overall, he that waited for the auto He actually waited for him to just like commit to something. Yeah. But definitely, ooh. He that, was facing the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, that aerial side B on a backwards Paulu shield, not going to be the easiest to punish there for, for Jen. Oh, oh see. that would have been a good punish, but, like, because of, like, the hurt box from Falco, he, like... Yeah, he kind of gets a little horizontal on that forward air, for sure. Shrinks a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the name of the game in Ultimate, I mean. Call out that air dodge. Oh, is he, does he still have his jump? I didn't see. I don't think he does. Yeah, he had to go for that ledge. I'm he pretty sure he hit that jump somewhere. Yep. And I mean, even another thing on Smashville, you know, Jen, I mean, the, the ledge so close to the rest of the stage, not allowing Tilde to really run away after getting off the ledge. 
That's something that Falco has as an edge right here, by the way, speaking of, is whenever he goes for the Firebird below the stage, he can play a mix-up game which ledge I'm going to, so it becomes more difficult for Jen to go for an edge drop. That's why right. you saw Jen stay center stage, because he could have gone to either direction. Yep, and I mean, you know, Smashville gonna allow Tilde to, you know, kind of mix up where he goes on that recovery, but I mean, Jen, more than comfortable, Kind of just staying whenever, because he he's one dash away from being in Tilde's face. I mean, you see it right there. Once again, these dashing fade back. Away. These yep. fadeaways. Yep. Catch this fade, bro. Mm -hmm. He's most certainly catching a fade with these dash backs, baiting on an option from Tilde, moving back in with the aggression afterwards. You're going to see it time and time again. Jen contesting that space by the ledge, knowing, you know, it's so easy to get Falco off stage on Smashville. Just takes one or two interactions. You're two full dashes, you know, away from the ledge for the most part if you're at center stage, so. Jen controlling that area perfectly. Air dodge Ooh. right through him, gets tossed Jump, off air stage. dodge, gonna get grabbed by Jen this time. Going for that down air, not gonna connect, unfortunately, for Jen here, but we gotta... It was safe. Yeah, no, for sure. There's no reason not to go for it for the most part against Falco. I mean, could net you a very early kill on that recovery. Hey, back are gonna toss him off Duck stage a little bit. 125% throwing up that explosive flame to force the early recovery. Wow. It's literally a checkmate moment right there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Like, there was, he was dead no matter yeah, what. Yeah, he was most certainly dead. And I mean, off of the ledge, Tilde has been seeing that he gets a little more survivability when he tries to go for a vertical option. Went for that jump air dodge before. Went for a jump on the left side of the stage. But Jen adapting, placing that back air in a different place to cover that more high approach. Forcing him into a situation where he had no choice but to get hit by that up tilt. So they're looking at even stocks. This stock is very important, right? Because until they takes this, he resets the bracket, he gets another chance to live and breathe. And then all of a sudden, the Otis is on Jen, like, God, I gotta play another set? Most Whereas definitely. Whereas Jen can end this right here, right now. I can go swipe my MTA and go home. <laughs> right now, Jen just takes this stock. We'll just have to wait and see. Jen definitely doesn't want to give him the opportunity to get any sort of momentum. Gets the double jump, Ooh. gets the explosive flame off stage. No recovery besides upbeat. Goes to the ledge to regain some jumps. Again, Kata's back facing him wasn't able to go through. Right, I mean, Jen positioning for those back airs, allowing Tilde to safely side be on that Palutena shield. Jen having no answer when he's facing that way. When oh. the back, or when the side B hits his shield, very tense situation here. We got Tilde moving his way out of the corner, but getting caught in center stage after that roll in. Gets the nair. So I love good. that double jump. That was so smart. Right. Again, playing the guessing game, gonna go to the left. He was tilting a little bit towards the left as he was in that direction, so there's no way for him to get reach the right side at that point in time. Gets the up tilt, gets the back air, and that's a bracket reset. T.O.'s, I am so sorry. You're here for an, uh, maybe another three games. We'll have to wait and see. I see RJ just retching in the background, bro. He wants to go home. He most certainly wants to go home, and Tilde most certainly wants to take it home, resetting that bracket. I mean... The classic. Uh, he he hit a little with, with a little little variation there. That was uh, a sliding up tilt, I believe. Yeah, you're gonna see it right here, sliding right to where Jem was. Uh, Jem was dashing. Sliding like Yuri on ice over here, dude, right into the center stage. You Watch this slide. Look, look at the swag Ooh. coming off from Falco. The turn around. Ooh. Was that MJ? Was that MJ, bro? This is what we what got excited for an ultimate baby. Some, oh. some, some nice sliding tilts, baby. Nice. Run it back, Jen. Ooh, we are going to run, run it, it back. back. That's interesting. This instant, bro. I know exactly wow. what happened. They didn't, they didn't say track or anything. He was just like, yo, we're going run back. back. Yo, run it back. Run it Run the straight back. This Might as well second. be one set for the most part. And guess who's got the momentum right now? The person we who got just won the set? We got Tilda. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, you know, Jen, a seasoned competitor, so... Interested to see how he handles a situation where there's potential or there is a reset and you potentially lose the tournament from winners. I feel like he'll he'll definitely pull through, but I mean Tilde is gonna make him try his his very best. His darndest. Ooh, indeed. That air dodge up or double jump up air dodge getting caught once again by Jen here. Ooh, holding in on that down throw. A little scared was Tilde for whatever situation that Jen was trying to put him in. Jen picking up that back air, very plain and simple. Looking like uh, oh looking my like God. a pre-patch follow there. Took a lot of damage there on the corner, 49%. Ooh, calling out the jump with that down air, but unfortunately not getting Jen off stage. Yeah, Jen was holding in there, so mm -hmm. couldn't be able to stay. Yep, that's right. On stage another day. Yep, not trying to do anything crazy with the drift, just trying to get in there as soon as possible. 
Ooh, we see Jen implementing that downer out of shield. Maybe that will come out when he's, uh, when, uh, if and when we see the side B hit the shield from behind again. Not sure if it'll hit, but I'll tell you that up tilt back air will most certainly hit. Getting a huge, uh, deja vu there up tilt the back air. I feel like that's how the last stock went, too. Yeah, looking like. Oh, he's no! Living, he's no, oh. He's oh. no, he's not! Oh no, he's not! No, he's not! He was living and then he wasn't. And he, wow, that was incredible offstage play from Tilde, taking full advantage of Jen's slip up there. You give him an the, inch, bro, he's gonna take that a He's gonna mile. take a mile, and I mean, just connecting with the spike of that side B and following through with two more dares, very impressive. Tilde getting back into the game. 100% here. He's powered up to play at 100% right now. Has him off stage, 53%. You see Tilde kind of kind of went for a little bit of drag down on that platform there. We'll see what he can cook up on this Smashville stage. We haven't seen necessarily the level of combo game that we would see on maybe Town, but perhaps that's looking to change on our, on our second game of, of this stage. Ooh, Tilde going to whiff the fair there, getting Jen an easy grab, and he's going to run off the stage. And hit him with the nair. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Most definitely. That move, I believe they nerfed its knockback, so it does not kill his early off stage, but at that percent, it's gonna be a layup for Jim. Ooh. That explosive flame saved his he life. He definitely did. I mean, I was predicting that we would see a down air there from Tilde. Connecting the first few hits of the fair there, but then the explosive flame coming through. Ooh. Not gonna get the kill with that down tilt yet. But Tilde at this, yup. I mean, he he kind of just, in that instance, did not try to cover the immediate option. Just kind of let Jen get his footing, and then as soon as he got it, sweeped it right out under him with that back air. Hopefully Jen's not letting it get to him because of that previous game, right? Uh, so Jen was on the verge of winning the entire tournament, literally one stock away, and all of a sudden he has to play another set. One air dodge, one missed air dodge yeah. in all of this, but you cannot deny Tilde's raw power for sure. Right here. Just I mean, continuously denying him that ledge yeah. over and over and over, knowing exactly when he's going to go for the timing. Because at, at that point, he's going to do it as soon as possible because that's the only way he's going to be able to recover. So right. the timing was just like in rhythm. But the fact that he capitalized on it every single time, mm. didn't miss a beat, and is continuing to add this damage. Yeah. Tilde is looking like the champion today. I mean, if that's I what we're so seeing myself. at this top level of play. These, you know, Tilde, one of probably the undisputed best Falco in the world. So. We're going to see that in these situations, he's getting a little bit more than the other Falcos, and, and that is a plain and simple example of that. The extensions off of this Smashville platform, wow, just I, following Jen through the air. I like the coverage that Tilde was doing there, too, because the fact if he, if, if Jen didn't tech, he was already with an aerial rip waiting for it. Right. But in the fact that he did tech, he was able to answer in kind as well. Mm -hmm. Get extending that combo with that downer, just like I said before, Tilde finding new and interesting ways to extend his advantage on this stage. And that back air was solid from Jen, not because he was only, not only was it because he was facing weight, but also would go through Firebird because of a little guard impact there from That's the shield. That's right, yeah, for sure. The, the back air definitely coming through in these situations where you put two moves head on. Definitely gonna be the victor. He's struggling, Austin. He definitely Bro, is. at 94. He took I'm, so much unnecessary damage. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult. I mean, the advantage from Tilde, we know all too well how dangerous it can be. It is just, it's tough for Jen. Anytime he gets hit, you know, you get sent to the stage, perhaps, or to the ledge, rather, perhaps, a smaller stage pick. Good DI from Jen. Again, we, I thought for sure he was dead, so mm -hmm. he's not pushing a button. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all Tilde did was short hop over and over. Eventually, Jen went for a dash attack. Yeah, I mean, we saw that Jen not really shaken in those situations in the previous set, but now kind of going for a bit of a preemptive dash attack, kind of get Tilde's pressure off of him, but... Ooh, Tilde scooping with that up yeah. tilt, not getting the extension, but getting the up uh, up air after. Looking at Jen's tournament stock right now. Something that is literally stabbing Jen in the back right now is that he's always setting up for back airs, and because of that, his back is facing his opponent. So that gives Tilde a free side B against oh, the yeah, shield, and then he sure. can't do anything off of it. Yeah. All because he's facing his back. So he's yep. got to be, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a good. Ariel, I get why he goes for right. it, but it's costing him that side. Yeah, definitely punish. have to recognize that Tilde is just 
cutting these advantage states off with these uh, these side beams into the shield. I mean, Jen not really parrying it, not going for any other aerial, really kind of just respecting it like you, like you may or may not have a choice. Oh, the mash? Get the Nair out of there, retaliating? Oh, it yeah. good call out from wow. Tilde. He knew he was going to go for something like explosive flame because that's something that Jen likes to do. Oh, yeah, for when, sure. when it's like the la last hit, last stop situation, Jen will try to land with like a close explosive flame because it's especially if he hasn't done it the whole game, which he didn't. Mm -hmm. Right here, this is the moment. It's like, okay, I'm going to choose yep. to do this option. And then that was a reaction from Tilda. He knew he was going for like something along those lines that wasn't like an aerial, probably explosive flame, maybe an auto reticle. Yep. But because he recognized that he was potentially going for that, went up there, got the backer, and closes out the set and the tournament. Tilde is your Xeno 233 champion from loser side i mean we saw loser jen side. take the dub in winners finals and we also saw you know nearly took the tournament in that first set there but till they gonna be able to pull through and get the dub on this beautiful wednesday evening got the dub well guys are we doing uh D devin do we still do interviews here no that's fine you sound so tired bro i'm he's sorry tired. he's really he's tired late. well how about we go through every single ad before you <laughs> go to see no just just this one just this one devin i gotta I got give you a shout out because guys it's devin's birthday he's tired he wants to go home you know what he wants for his birthday a follow a sub yeah! A subscription. Maybe. A subscription. Maybe even a subscription. Maybe a, a, a free price of Amazon Prime. Perhaps. You know, we know you guys got to just go into your mom's credit card. She's got Amazon. I swear to you, you can use it on this channel right here, right now. But if you want to show your support, it doesn't cost you any money. You go ahead and hit that follow button on twitch.tv slash house2000. We also got that Twitter for you at House2000. We got the match arena. If you want to give some money towards the players, you can do that as well. And also, if you want to come out to the bracket yourself here in New York City, Lower Manhattan, Chinatown, you can go to smash.gg slash Zeno. We're located at 21 Ludlow Street, New York, New York. 100002. Hope to see you guys there. Yeah. Well, guys, that's it for us. It's been a pleasure, Peko. It was fun commentating nice with you. Nice meeting you, sir. Yeah, always, always, always cool to see like all these new commentators coming out. Yeah, you know, I'm trying my best. Uh, I like it. I like starting it. Starting out. Hoping, hoping I, to I like to see make it. some waves. We'll see. Well, guys, uh, we'll see you next time. It was a pleasure to come back. I feel like nothing's changed <laughs> in yeah. terms of players. That's why I mean in that regard. Listen, wait till D Dog gets here, bro. You'll 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 be wishing nothing changed. Oh, oh. No, I'm just kidding. Gotta love D Dog. That's the goat. Shout out to D Dog. Shout out to Steve. Devin, get us out of here. <laughs> Please, it's too late. Bye.